The Autism Impact Fund is a for-profit venture capital model. We're not a not-for-profit. And we were founded with the mission to revolutionize the status quo for diagnosing, treating, and living with autism. Our aim is to be the investment and innovation arm of the autism community and beyond. And you know, as you alluded to, it's now one in 44 children affected um, by autism. And for adults, the unemployment rate is reaching 85%. So with those you know, tragic numbers, we believe in the capital markets, the power of the private sector to be able to drive that transformational change um, that is needed throughout the life cycle of individuals. There's so many challenges uh, to try, and we'll, we'll, I wanna talk about some of the individual uh, companies that, that, you, uh, that, that you just mentioned, uh, Chris, but um, e even trying to, to standardize testing for who gets who gets treatment and then how you reimburse that treatment and how you measure success it's it's none of it has been none of it, it, it has been delineated to this point and it's hard for me to believe because it's it's been around for a long time but i think in 2008 we thought it was maybe one out of 200 people now we know how many people are actually on the spectrum people that you might not uh, think of for for example an elon musk yep no, that's exactly right. And that's, you know, since our founding, we've invested in nine companies ranging from diagnostics to therapeutics um, services, as well as tech enabled services. I'm excited to announce to, uh, as of Friday, we confirmed our 10th deal in a company called Cortica, which brings together all of the services that a child or family may need um, to address the ailments, whether that's neurology, genetics, uh, other pediatricians, behavioral help, speech help, um, all across the board. So we look at this ecosystem we've built as we become that innovative arm, tying our portfolio companies together. Uh, another one, Florio, is the first behavioral health therapy uh, metaverse using a VR platform to uh, deliver therapy, democratize access to care and get it into the hands of more people. That was created um, by the engineer who founded, or sorry, created Amazon Prime. And then Autocon, you know, as we touch on employment, is the global leader in IT consulting services. Um, we recently invested with them and they employ hundreds of individuals. We're increasing that more and you know, have co-investors like Sir Richard Branson involved with that as well. Chris, in terms of reaching out to corporations to, to illustrate the, the skill set that a lot of, of individuals on, on the spectrum have, that, where is that? What inning are we in? It? And I would think you know, companies, as, as they get more, uh, I'm not going to say woke, but as, as they become better, corp better citizens, better global citizens, th that should be a burgeoning enterprise because, uh, as you mentioned, the unemployment rate can be very high for some very talented people. They really just need maybe a bridge or need a chance or, or, or need some assistance. It's a great point, and we're seeing it enter the late innings there. It's no longer a charity. It's no longer feel good or sympathy. Individuals um, in the autism spectrum don't need charity. They don't need sympathy. They need acceptance and they need opportunities. And that's what we're all about. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.